Hey, what's up, guys? And we are back here on the night on this video today. Well, tonight we're gonna be testing the OnePlus 10 Pro Pixel 6 Pro iPhone 13 Pro S22 Ultra and the Motorola OnePlus 5G Ultra Wideband. These are all on Verizon Unlimited plans. So let's go over the plans here real quick. So on the OnePlus 10 Pro, we have the older Get More legacy plan with the 75 gigs prior before DiPrio. Pixel 6 Pro has the new Get More. This has the Enterprise plan, the 13 Pro. Then we got the uh, the S22 Ultra has 2005 Unlimited. And then this one has the new 2022 Get More, the Motorola Edge Plus 5G Ultra Wideband. So let's see here. And let's see. Let's start with the One Plus. All right. So we're looking at a 14 ping 6 jitter. And also, this is going to help us test which one has better range and speed. And we're starting off good with 776 on the down. And we're looking at a 92.7 on the upload. This is on N77, as Verizon claims their C band, which is S band, but whatever. Uh, Pixel 6 Pro, next phone. 18 ping, 4 jitter. Uh oh. Oh, we see that Tensor chip shining, right? Okay, 590 on the down. And 39.3 on the up. iPhone 13 Pro. 18 ping, 22 jitter. Seven hundred thirty four on the down and so far it looks like close to the one plus ninety one point one on the upload all right s twenty two ultra twenty three ping three jitter Seven hundred and thirty four on the down. And seventy six point one on the up. Now let's go with the Moto Edge Plus 5G Ultra Wideband. What does that say? Twenty six ping a jitter. And just something about the Moto that shines, man. The Moto is really optimized for the for the network. 833 on the down. Motorola and Verizon has always had a good partnership. 74.8 on the upload. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another round of testing, but at another tower site, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we are back. Here's the next tower site right here, somewhere around there. All right, let's start off with the One Plus. Okay, 16 ping, one jitter. Okay, we're looking at 300 down. And 47.4 on the upload. All right, let's go next with the Google Pixel 6 Pro. 19 ping, 2 jitter. 
Well, I guess the position of the phones do help a little bit, huh? Okay, 454 on the down. And 54.5 on the up. Google, I mean, uh, iPhone 6, 13 Pro, sorry. <laughs> 19 ping for jitter. Uh, all these pro names after everything. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay, 427 on the down. And 63.9 on the up. S22 Ultra. 14 ping, 6 jitter. Four hundred down. Forty six point six on the upload. And now last but not least, the Motorola. What is the Motorola Edge Plus 5G Ultra Wideband? All right, there she goes. 14 ping three jitter. Three hundred seventy seven on the down. And 54.6 on the upload, guys. I just wanted to do this quick little video, guys, to show you guys that the OnePlus 10 Pro is a really good contender phone. Yes, it does not have millimeter wave. We can all agree with that. But for being an N77 phone, it's not a bad choice, guys. Uh, I really recommend it. I haven't had that many hiccups with this phone at all. Actually, I haven't had none. It's been really smooth right out the box. And the software updates just made it even better. There's been a two already so far. And it's enhanced the phone even better. As you guys know, I like the Pixel. I mean, I love the Pixel. I've been putting this plan to the test. You know, I've been trying to use and abuse it as much as possible. But I just wish the Pixel wouldn't have taken as long to fix all the, to start getting the bugs fixed and getting the phone to work like how it's supposed to. It's almost there, guys. I'll give it that but it still has work to do. Compared to the OnePlus, honestly, I'd, I would have to choose the OnePlus if I had to go through there. And of course, you guys know the iPhone just works. The S22 Ultra, it's a mixed bag just because so far we've had, I think, three updates on it. It's been getting better, but it's, it's only good at edge cell site. That's what I've noticed. When you're close to tower sites, it does not like to perform well and now on the motorola edge plus 5g ultra wideband now this phone on the verizon wireless network is a superb phone verizon just does whatever they do with this phone and the network they just make it work guys like literally it is the best performer there is it takes all the carry aggregations it slaps them all good smooth seamless call i've had better signal on this phone where i was in edge cell site with literally one bar where it got better speeds and i'm better than even the s22 ultra and even the one plus the mon and i and the pixel but I, if i were to get the phone let's say guys if we were to rate it i would get for verizon i would get the moto would be my top contender i would do then the one plus 10 pro iPhone S22 Ultra and then the Pixel just because the Pixel you are buying the phone as basically as a beta tester that's how I look at it when you buy into it it takes a while for bugs to get fixed usually between four to six months but yeah guys just wanted to give you a little bit of testing here on, on different Verizon plans and different phones 
and give you guys my intake on these phones. But they're all good phones. Regardless of the day, they're all good phones. But the OnePlus gets better battery life with the Moto. By far, these two Androids outsmoke these two. I'll tell you that on battery life. I've, ha I've gone already a, almost a day and a half. And I use this as my second daily driver. And yeah, guys, the, ba the battery life, it's at 71%. So, yeah, good phone. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. And we're going to catch you in the next one, all right? Stay tuned. We're going to be doing some more dish wireless, aka Boost Infinite speed testing and all that. We'll stay tuned. Peace. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to not hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.